Good morning, children. How are you all? I hope you all are fine and staying at home. I am your value education teacher, Arpita Nemani. Children, today we are moving to chapter number seven of your moral science textbook, and the name of the chapter is A Saint's Advice. page number 29 of your moral science textbook the value which we learn from this chapter is humility okay so let's start once upon a time there was a king who had everything one could ask for health wealth pleasures and power means the king was very happy in his own life he had everything he was the mighty ruler of a vast kingdom and was proud of it he was the very big king and he was proud of it because he had everything he can wish one day a saint came to the king and said O oh, king you should not be proud of your power and positions for they are temporary a saint means one day a brahmin a what you we used to say a pandit came and advised the king that he should not be proud of whatever he has because they all are temporary he said some day either you will leave them or they will leave you okay the king could not understand this he flew into rage he became angry he did not understand the saint's words but the holy man persisted learn to be humble the saint again said learn to be humble humble means polite the more humble you become the more of god's grace will flow through you to help your kingdom and people what did the saint said that the more humble you will become the more god will help you infuriated the pompous king thundered the king became angry why must i be humble the king said why must i be humble i have a vast kingdom i have just to lift my finger and thousands of people will be at my command the king angrily said to the saint i do not need your advice i order you to leave right away the king shouted at the saint he said go away i do not need your advice a few days later the king went hunting with his ministers and courtiers seeing a magnificent deer in the distance he started chasing it he saw a deer the chase heated up and despite his courtiers advice to turn back the proud king spurred on means seeing the deer the king wanted to go and hunt that but his courtiers advised him to return back soon enough the king was separated from the rest of his retinue means the king got separated from his ministers the deer seemed to have disappeared into thin air the deer also ran away unwilling to give up the pursuit the king spurred on his horse to gallop faster and faster but the king was not willing to pursuit means he wanted to go behind the deer suddenly the king caught a glimpse of the deer before it disappeared yet again 
he again saw a deer act on by the sight the king tried to ride faster so he tried to ride more faster just as his horse took a giant leap forward it stumbled and fell the horse fell down both the horse and the rider crashed to the ground unconscious means the king also fell down there they lay leveled to the ground until a few robbers helped to pass by means the robbers passed by that place robbers means thieves finding the horse and the rich rider in an unconscious state they robbed the king of his possessions his weapons and even his clothes now in that helpless condition he remembered the words of the saint they seemed to ring in his ears he remembered what the saint has said he said some day these things will either leave you or you will leave them so this thing happened with the king the king felt very guilty he realized that it was his pride that had brought him to this difficult situation he realized that it was his mistake he closed his eyes and said a simple prayer what did he said in this state of utter helplessness o oh god i turn to you help me lest the wild beast of this jungle devour me means he prayed that he prayed to god that o oh god please i was wrong i was not humble it was my mistake please in this helpless condition help me just then he heard the roar of a lion and his heart trembled means he heard a roar of a lion and he got terrified however he found that the lion's roar had stirred the horse awake means by hearing the roar horse also awake with immense gratitude to god he mounted the horse and galloped across the valley to the place where his ministers and courtiers were anxiously searching for him he set on the horse fast and galloped fastly to reach the place where his ministers and courtiers were there they were also searching for him they were also searching the king now from then on the king was totally transformed means he became a humble man every day he reminded himself of the saint's teaching and conducted his royal duties humbly means now the king was a different man he realized that he should always be humble and polite with everyone so what is the moral of the story children moral is one should always be humble to everyone one should never feel proud of anything and one should always respect others we also learned that when we pay homage to god or we pray with whole heart god always listens to us thank you